Hello. The word I have today is the word diligent. Um, I woke up with that and I, th I could think of some scriptures that the word diligent or diligence is in. So I thought I'd look it up. And the meaning of the word diligent means something that's done in a careful and detailed way. Paying close attention to detail. Now, as Christians, we don't tend to think like that, but we should. Some words that um, are related to diligent is to be careful, to be thorough, to be meticulous, and to be methodical. Now, methodical means to do things in a very ordered and careful way. That's important because that's the nature of God. Just look at creation. Look at how God does things. It says that God is perfect in all his ways. And we are to be seeking, diligently seeking, um, searching our hearts for our motives, for our intentions, and in everything that we do. In Joshua chapter 22 and verse 5, it says, Take diligent heed to do the commandment of the law which Moses the servant of the Lord charged you to love the Lord your God and to walk in all his ways and to keep his commandments and to cleave unto him and to serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. That is how we are to serve the Lord. Not just half-heartedly, not now and again, but with all of our being, everything, with our mind, with our emotions, with our heart and our spirit, in everything that we do, we want to please the Lord. In Proverbs 4 and verse 23, it says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. And Jesus reminded us, about that. He said out of, the, out of the, the heart flows every issue of life. That again, that's a very sobering thought to think I'm responsible for what's happening in my life. I discovered this when, um, a few years back. It really became alive to me and I realized what God wants is a work in my heart. If I felt there was something going wrong, I couldn't blame others. I had to look within and say, Lord, what's happening? And I'm one for listening. I listen to every word that people say. And sometimes I hear more than what they're saying. Um, I don't always like it. But one thing I often hear is when things go bad, people often say, and I knew it. I knew it. How many times have you said that? How many times have you thought that? Now, that's not to say that we were consciously thinking something is going to go wrong. But there was something in the heart, some belief or something that was going to cause that thing to go wrong. Why? Because it was stopping the flow of the good blessings. Jesus said, out of a good heart flows good. And if we have seeds of contention, doubt, confusion, fear, um, wrong thoughts of any shape or form. That's why we're very responsible um, for what we see with our eyes and what we listen to, what is going into our heart, what we dwell on. All of these things we have to be very diligent about because we can be opening the door to the wrong thing and closing the flow of the Lord and causing the flow of his blessing in our lives. The peace of God is peace. It cannot be mixed with fear. It cannot be mixed with a sense of dread. It cannot be mixed with the wrong expectation. The peace of God in itself is complete and whole and requires our diligence. It requires our full attention. So I just want to leave that with you today. That it's not wrong it's very right to be concerned about every detail of your life, every thought, 
every imagination, everything goes into your ears, everything that goes into your eyes. Be responsible, be careful, be thorough, be meticulous and be methodical. Be um, prepared to do everything in your life in a very ordered and careful way, especially the Word of God. You can never go to the Word of God and just take something out of context. It won't work. It can't work because God is a God of purpose. He's a God of order and He requires that order in our lives. Jesus is the truth. He is the life and He is the way. You see, the way has been prepared. The way has been made and when we walk in the way of the Lord, we walk in the ways of the Lord, we will be walking in His righteousness and in His blessing and in His favour. Amen.